You're watching WDHN Weather with Chief Meteorologist Scott Roberts. Throughout today, we had pretty nice conditions around the wire grass. It was hot at times, though, with temperatures in the mid-90s, but no rain across the region. It looks like conditions will be staying pretty dry through the day tomorrow, Friday, and into Saturday, so nothing will be found on Action Radar. As far as conditions this Wednesday evening, temperatures in the mid-70s now, and northeasterly breezes with us and that's continuing to bring in some drier air from the north so through the day tomorrow it is going to be a hot one but feeling fairly comfortable because of the lower humidity and also there's going to be a pretty strong breeze calm for most locations right now but through the day tomorrow that will be picking up from the northeast and east right around lunchtime or so we'll see locations upwards of 5 to 10 miles per hour if not a little bit more gusting in the later afternoon hours upwards of 20 miles per hour at times so 5 to 15 mile per hour wind on and off throughout the day so certainly take precautions if you are going to be driving any high profile vehicles and it looks like those breezy conditions will continue as we go into Friday and Saturday and then possibly into Sunday and into next week depending on what's happening in the tropics but as far as tomorrow those temperatures will warm into the lower to middle 90s so certainly a great day to head to the pool after work and school. Now in the tropics we go we are watching a few systems for the potential for development in the Atlantic one a little bit uh, closer to Africa near the Cape Verde Islands. This one has a 40% chance of developing over the next five days as it moves a little bit further to the west. Hurricane Center downgrading a system that's about 500 miles to the east of the Lesser Antilles, giving it a near 0% chance of developing over the next five days, but that's the least of our concerns. Now we are more concerned about what's around the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos. The uh, system is starting to become a little bit better organized. This is going to be drifting to the west and through the uh, more to the northwest into the weekend, possibly coming into the Gulf of Mexico. It looks like the hurricane hunters are going to be going out there to investigate this system, possibly tomorrow. If not, tomorrow we'll be out there on Friday to see if it is becoming a little bit better organized. But we are seeing some signs of some greater convection around the broad center of circulation with this. The computer model plots take this across the southern Bahamas, the southern tip of the Florida Peninsula into the weekend, and then into Sunday, Monday, to, into Tuesday, possibly into the southeast. And at this point, it is possible it will be at least a tropical depression or a storm. There are some indications that if it does become a little bit better organized a little sooner, it could possibly be a low-end Category 1 hurricane, but a lot can change between where it is and where it will be heading going into next week. So this is certainly a forecast that will be evolving and something to really pay attention to going into the weekend, but at the very least, I think we will be dealing with an increase in rain and storm chances starting on Sunday and going to next week with many locations around the southeast getting more than an inch of rain. And of course, this would depend on the track of that moisture and that system as it develops. For us tonight, clear skies will be with us. Temperatures in the lower to middle 70s after sunrise and then going to the lunchtime hour, lower 90s for most of us. Highs will be in the lower to middle 90s. Heat index temperatures will be a little bit warmer, like the middle to upper 90s. But for tonight, temperatures in the 70s, certainly a warm one around the wire grass going to the next seven days. It's one of those deals, kind of like when we were dealing with Dorian. First few days, we have a good idea what's going on. Sunday and beyond, it is all dependent upon that system in the tropics officially. Invest 95L. So Invest. that will be watching. Uh, but hot day.